think Maggie's gonna break up with me. You say that every week. Yeah, but this time, it's different. Ever since New York, she's been real distant. You're imagining things. It's like she's lost all respect for me. What were you supposed to do? Chase down a guy holding a gun for a couple of credit cards? I don't know. I just didn't do anything. You know, I just stood there and let him take everything from us. You panicked. She's never going to forget this. I know. I saw the look in her eyes. She's going to break up with me if I don't do something. I, I, need to, I need to ask her to marry me. She can't break up with me if I ask her to marry me, right? Do you think that's a good idea with the whole her dumping you thing? Well, that's why I need to do something first. I need to restore her faith in my manhood. I have to prove that I can protect her. This is the 21st century. Shouldn't she, like, protect you or something? Yeah, no, 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 that's not gonna work. Look, I already got a plan, okay? I just need your help. You in? <sighs> okay, fine. Uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so the way I figure it, I can't change the past. I can only change the future, right? Which is why we're going to stage another mugging. Sort of a, a mugging do-over. Except this time, I get to be the big hero because you're going to be the mugger. I don't know. I think that sounds really dangerous. No, 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 not at all. Perfectly safe. See, you're already here hiding in the apartment dressed like a burglar. So when Maggie and I come home after dinner, we're getting relaxed, we're getting settled in. I'll be fixing her a drink. I'm at the bar. She's here in the living room. All of a sudden, you pop out and start to pretend to rob us. But I defend Maggie. We're gonna get in a big fight, throw some punches. You can menace me a little. Menace, and then, menace you? How do, how do I do that? I don't, well, I don't know. Menace me, uh, yell at me, whatever. After you menace me a bit, I'm gonna chase you out of the apartment. I'm gonna yell something, something like, uh, don't ever come back or I'm gonna kick your ass. Yeah, yeah. When Maggie sees that, she's gonna be so grateful she's gonna ask me to marry her. Oh wait, that won't work. She knows my voice. Well, that's why I'm going to be doing all the talking. You just kind of wave stuff in the air. Uh, okay. Uh, what should I wave? I don't know. Uh, just, just wave your arms. Okay, no. No, no, no. Um, karate? I could do some karate moves. I... right? Yeah? Uh, I'm worried that's a little too fancy. Um... Yeah, yeah. What about lurking? Like, like you're lurking. You're already lurking somewhere in the apartment. So then when you pop out, argh, you're already menacing. You know? I don't know. I'm not on board with the whole menacing thing. I don't. Ah! Ah! See, menacing. Yeah. That's all you need to know. Okay. 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 Cut it out. Cut. Come on, come on, menace me back. Here. I don't know, this feels stupid. I mean, who's gonna be afraid of a spatula? Why don't I pretend like I have a gun, right? No, 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 no one's gonna believe that. All these rules are making me hungry. Okay, no eating. We have to practice this now. Maggie's coming over tonight. She says we need to talk. Do you know what that means? We need to talk? We can't let her talk until we've proven I'm a man. Now pick up your spatula and menace me, damn it! Look, if I'm gonna get in the right mood for this, I need some robber gear, okay? I mean, we wanna do this right. Mood is everything. Yeah, I've already taken care of it. I have everything you need. Ski mask, jacket. It's all in the closet. Ready to go. Come here, I'll show you. No, 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 I'll get it. You get this place ready for me. Okay. Maggie! What are you doing here? Uh, you're not supposed to be here till later tonight. I couldn't wait till tonight. I need to talk to you now. Okay, but... I kind of had everything planned, you know, we go to dinner, we come back and relax. You're in the living room, I'm at the bar fixing, making a drink. Why can't we just talk now? Because, because, you know, I have something I need to talk to you about, too. Oh, um, yeah, maybe you better hear what I have to say first. 
Uh, okay, yeah. Um, over dinner. We can talk at the restaurant. Let's go. But it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, we'll avoid the rush. Arr. Oh my god, it's a burglar! Don't worry, honey. I'll protect you. Don't be a fool. Just give him your wallet. He could have a gun. Oh my god, he's got a gun. Stand back, honey. No, what did you do? I shot him. Don't get too close. He could still be alive. No, he's dead. Well, good. Now we've got to figure out what to do next. I'll call the police. I can't believe it. You shot him. How could you? I had to. He was menacing us. But, I mean, you're a pacifist. You don't even know how to shoot a gun. I know. I was. But after what happened in New York, well, I thought I should, you know, learn how to defend myself. Oh, because I couldn't? I didn't say that. You know, Connor, I've always wondered what I would do in a situation like this. I, when I bought the gun, I just, I never thought I'd be able to actually use it. I always thought I'd use it to scare off muggers or maybe just to feel a little less vulnerable. I mean, taking a life is horrible, I know. But this is justified, right? He, he threatened us, right? He was going to kill you. I, I, had, I had to do something. I had to protect you. I love you. Wait. You love me? I thought you were going to dump me. No, of course not. Why would you think that? Well, the whole New York thing, and you said we needed to talk, I, I naturally assumed. That's exactly why I wanted to talk to you about. I've been feeling guilty about giving you a hard time about New York. I did some thinking, and I realized you did the only thing you could do under the circumstances. The man had a gun. I wouldn't want you to lose your life over a few credit cards. That's exactly what Jack said. I should have told you earlier. I can't imagine the anguish you went through thinking I was going to dump you. Yeah, it was really hard. Let's always be honest with each other from now on. Promise me we'll never keep secrets from each other ever again. Promise me, Connor. I promise. No secrets. Maggie, I do have a confession to make. Connor, that looks like your friend Jack. Yeah, that's because it is Jack. Oh my god, Connor, what's going on? Why was Jack robbing no, us? No, no, he wasn't. It was supposed to be... It was supposed to be... It was this plan I had, we had. It's a really stupid plan. What are you talking about? Okay, I thought you were gonna break up with me, so I came up with this plan to make you change your mind where Jack pretends to be a robber and he pretends to rob us and I protect you and you're so grateful that you don't leave me. Well... This is exactly why my mother thinks you're an idiot. Mary thinks I'm an idiot? Yes, I didn't want to tell you, but... Oh, I'm always so nice to her. Oh, she thinks you're nice. Oh, just an idiot. She said you never take responsibility for your actions, which I'm starting to agree. Don't have my phone. I'll call the police this way. I'll take full blame. It wasn't your fault. You didn't know. This is just a practical joke gone wrong. No, you can't go to the police now. They'll never believe you. They'll call it manslaughter. We'll both go to jail. We have to get rid of the body. What? No, are, are you crazy? This isn't like you. I know. This is a new me. Empowered, strong, different. I've never felt this exhilarated in my entire life. Maggie. He was my best friend. I have a little confession to make to you. I've always been curious about what it would be like to kill a human. What? You're not a killer. I wasn't. But now that I've done it, well, it wasn't that bad. In fact, it was exciting. I've never been this excited before. 
Make love to me, Connor. Take me now, here, with Jack. <laughs> No, 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 I, I can't do this. It's probably because of the dead body. No, I mean, yes, maybe, probably. It's not like he's watching. Come on, Connor, be a man. Miss me. Hey. Okay, no, 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 I, I can't okay. do it. No, this is just wrong. There's something fundamentally wrong about this. Don't be so emotional. It's primal, sexy. Just pretend you're in one of your fantasy games and you just killed an orc and now you're taking your booty. No, no, I, I, I can't. I can't. It's, no, no, I can't, okay? This is just wrong. We need to call the police and turn ourselves in. I'll explain everything. At most, we'll only get ten years, seven for good behavior. When we get out, it'll be like in Shawshank Redemption with Tim Robbins and Morgan Fairchild where they go to the uh, Morgan Freeman. They end up in that little Mexican town with the name that's not quite spelled how it's pronounced. Don't you hate that when you can't really figure out the spellings of words based on how they sound? Like I said, it's just because it's in Spanish, and I really need to brush up on my Spanish, so.